For many decades, the skies have been the scene of apparitions and unexplained aerial objects seen indiscriminately from many parts of the world. Only the oldest known sightings date back to 1860, more than 150 years ago, and as time has gone by, the number of people who claim to have seen them has only grown. Increasing our doubts and concerns about this subject, and strangest of all, without us ever being told anything. Sighting after sighting, numerous testimonies, photographs, videos, and accounts of unidentified aerial figures. There has even been talk of unusual impacts and even physical contact. And yet, the silence remained as ironclad, solid, and undeniable as it was several decades ago. But it would not be like that forever. After years of ambiguity, mysteries, and silence regarding this enigmatic world, and coincidence or not, after the exceptional, albeit brief, statements of ex-President Obama about the many records and images of the sky that the government still cannot explain, comes to us a declassified report directly from the Pentagon. A massive 1,500-page report revealing information that's almost too shocking to believe. Stick around and we'll get into it. Mankind has always looked to the skies for meaning, but as our yearning for knowledge has reached farther into the depths of space, the search becomes for the answer of the question, are we alone? If you seek the truth, like, subscribe, click the bell icon, join us. This is what the world needs. This is Disclosure. From the decades of 1945 onwards, sightings of unidentified flying objects, originally known by the name of flying saucers, have aroused the curiosity of people across the country and their hunger for answers. Sightings like that of pilot Kenneth Arnold in 47, the death a year later of U.S. pilot Thomas Martell chasing a UFO, and events like the famous Roswell incident in 47, where an unidentified flying object was reported to have crashed before the government denied it, have led many to believe that the whole truth was not being told and put an intense debate between skeptics and believers on the table. The years go by, and although the UFO phenomenon is no longer in the public eye to some extent, it is interesting that the sightings, videos, and photographs that reach us in this information age make us wonder again, is there something around us? Is it true that we know nothing about it? As if history is doomed to repeat itself, which is true most of the time, the strange crafts in the skies are once again awakening our interest and our desire for answers. And once again, we receive, by means of a declassified report, possible answers to these questions. But what is the origin of this long-awaited report? Where does it come from? The UFO phenomenon, now named by the American government as Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAPs, reached such a point that, at the time, Senator Harry Reid, former congressman and leader of the Democratic Party for more than 12 years, financed a joint investigation with the Department of Defense to address this problem. Two years ago, Lou Elizondo, a Department of Counterintelligence official, took over the initiative, renaming it to the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, which he would leave eight years later, reportedly disappointed by the lack of staff initiative in seeking real answers. Chris Mellon, former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense under Presidents Clinton and Bush, would begin giving interviews to the press, stating that the government should be more transparent and share with the public its information regarding UFOs. Both would later join To The Stars, a science, entertainment, and outreach organization founded by Blink-182's Tom DeLonge, whose main interests include analyzing and compiling UFO video sightings. And sometime later, after the broadcasting of the three UFO videos called FLIR, Go Fast, and Gimbal, as well as the great media attention they received, the report was announced and released on June 25, 2021. The report condenses reports and evidence from the period 2004 to 2021. 17 years of research and reports condensed into nine pages of text. For many, hungry for more information or even pictures, it may be disappointing, but a close look at these pages and the way they were written brings great revelations. The report begins by stating that the paucity of palpable evidence and quality reports on these unidentified aerial phenomena hampers its ability to draw firm conclusions about nature or intent. Bottom line, we don't have sufficient evidence to say exactly what they are. The data collected in this regard were consistent and disagreed markedly with each other, mostly because there was no standardized reporting system in place until just a couple of years ago. A total of 144 reports were reviewed from 2004 to 2021, and, of all of them, 
Only one could be identified in its entirety. It was a deflating balloon. The rest were quite ambiguous, and of all the cases, about 80, more than half, were detected by advanced technological equipment such as motion sensors or infrared, to mention a few. And the surprises don't end there. In these anomalous case reports, strange behaviors were revealed in the detected objects. We're talking about dangerous characteristics that go beyond what we have been able to imagine so far. Recently, a massive database of U.S. government reports was made public through the Freedom of Information Act request. These reports, which surfaced on April 5, 2022, state that people who had encounters with UFOs were left suffering from radiation burns, brain and nervous system damage, and also uncounted pregnancies, unexplained pregnancies. This database has more than 1,500 pages of material related to thousands of UFOs from the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, which is a secret program created within the U.S. Department of Defense. As we have said and thought so much, every day that passes we are closer to the answers we've been looking for. The published documents include anomalous effects on each of the people who witnessed unidentified flying objects and even secret studies on the application of invisibility capabilities and plans for the colonization of outer space. And that's not all, however. The AATIP withheld information for privacy, confidentiality, and national security reasons. One thing's extremely clear, and that is, much information has been withheld. One of the most prominent documents in this series of reports is one entitled, Acute and Subacute Anomalous Field Effects in Human and Biological Tissues which dates from March 2010 and confirms observations of injuries to humans who have been exposed to UFO aerospace systems. The report describes 42 medical records and more than 300 unpublished cases in which humans who had contact with otherworldly beings suffered injuries related to electromagnetic radiation conditions, ranging from brain damage, heart palpitations, headaches, to damage to the central nervous system. But since when have these conditions that threaten the integrity of the human being been happening? And a more important question, since when has all this information been hidden? Well, the reports include the biological effects suffered by people who have witnessed UFOs since 1873 and 1994. Among each of the documented effects are abductions, unexplained pregnancies, paralysis, and incredible experiences including teleportation, telepathy, and levitation. However, the report ends up concluding something extremely disturbing, and that is that it affirms the existence of sufficient evidence to ensure the existence of advanced unexplained systems that are far from the understanding of the United States. Admitting that, whether they are vehicles of Chinese, Russian, or extraterrestrial origin, these unexplained aerial phenomena constitute a potential threat. And that's not all. If some still doubted the veracity or transparency of these new research programs, the studies recently revealed by the Pentagon speak for themselves. That the UFO issue is more than a misunderstanding or a result of simple confusions, that it is an undeniable reality that must be treated with haste and seriousness. These are disconcerting revelations which are attracting the urgent attentions of governments around the globe. The taboo surrounding the subject of UFOs is beginning to dissipate, encouraging pilots and soldiers to denounce and report any sightings they witness. The research program is looking for new ways to increase the information available and to find the answers to the UFO enigma. The only thing left to do is to let time run out and wait for the revelations to come to light. For decades, the UFO subject was shrouded in a kind of taboo, in a social stigma that for years prevented many people from approaching it as something different from the material of science fiction books or movies, and that, undoubtedly, increased the mystery about it discouraging many people from telling their side of the story, from declaring what they saw and being encouraged to ask the questions. But that wall, that barrier that keeps the incognito on this subject, is slowly beginning to give way, to dissolve until it seems more like a veil than a wall and the debate between skeptics and believers takes on new dimensions, something that the ambiguity of the report only confirms the non-existence of extraterrestrial life, Others, that the fact that not even the current advanced military technology systems are able to classify is proof that we are being visited by beings of extraterrestrial origin, whose intentions we do not know. Some say that the publication of this report heralds the first step in a new era of clarity and transparency concerning the UFO subject, 
and others believe that it is only the tip of a colossal iceberg that continues to remain hidden from our view for reasons we ignore. Among so many opinions, it's almost common sense to think that the answers are at the doorstep, on the verge of presenting themselves, and that there is something, whatever it is, orbiting our skies with curious interest.